what's up guys it's Talaha here and in this video we will try to finish modeling this classic house in Revit let's get started so here I am in Revit and the first thing which I will do is I will just delete these three windows we will copy this uh, we will copy this one okay let's go to the front view and let's select all these three and we'll go to level one and copy this one multiple Okay, now, uh, now let's edit this floor. So select this, edit boundary, and let's go to site plan. And we will just extend this until here. Finish, and let's load some. Uh, let's load the column family. So go to insert load family here here we have this select this and open okay let's see the size of this uh, this column base here so it's it's two feet three and on this side it's one uh, it's two feet four so go to architecture columns here you need to select architectural column then you will find that family here so go to edit type let's sync the width to two feet two and the depth make it two feet four okay and let's place that here okay what's wrong Okay, let's let's make it four feet by four feet okay okay it's too much now let's place that here so we had to make it three feet by three feet now let's place that here we will align to this column here uh, to this line now if you go into 3d you will see our column only until ground floor because we had to change the we had to change the, the top level so let's change it to level one or maybe i think until level uh, until the roof so you can see our column here but it's very thin so we will edit this one okay we had to we have to change the base level also so change it to ground so it's perfect now but we need to change the the thickness of this column so let's just select this edit family and here we will edit this revolve so select this revolve then edit revolve go to the front view and we will just extend this uh, this this part just use arrow keys to move this then finish and let's see this load into project override the existing version and i think it's perfect now so let's copy this to the other side also select copy from this corner and place here and now we will create our now we will create the stairs here so let's go back to site plan again and architecture select stair and let's draw like this just, and just select this uh, this straight then just draw like this okay cancel let's change the top level to 
none so we can give the height uh, we can give the stair height so the height of uh, of this floor was two feet six let's make sure from here to here is two feet yes so we will give that here in the desired stair height so just make it two feet and it will give you the number of uh, uh, risers we will get you can see we will get four uh, four number of risers so now let's use this and draw our stair like so and just uh, select this and then just use this handle and take this here and on this side also and now we need to we need to change this uh, we need to edit this so and go to edit type and here just change the support to uh, just make it none on the right side as well as the left apply if you apply this now we need to just click ok and we need to turn off this riser you can see it's going it's going inside the floor so select this and you will you just need to uncheck this end with the riser and now we will yeah, now it will fix this so let's finish this and we will copy we will copy the states uh, to the other side also but first let's remove these railings go to site plan select the these stairs then mirror from here okay let's ignore this and now we will copy this and rotate just make sure this copy is checked and just give the angle of 90 degrees and we will move this one from the middle and place that here and let's let's select this and edit stairs and we will extend this until here okay we have to flip this so right click okay so we don't have the option here so we'll go to the site plan and you just need to click this arrow and it will flip the stairs Now let's go back to site plan again. We will create, uh, we will create these uh, these walls here. So go to architecture wall and select a generic wall here. Eight inches, oh, I'm not sure. Yes, eight inches. And then base offset. Let's make it zero and unconnected height let's make it one foot and draw the wall from here okay let's draw let's draw from here on this side also on this side also let's mirror this so just hit tab to highlight all these connected lines then select and just hit tab again here but just hold control key to select multiple then mirror from this side uh, from the middle of this door okay so we have created this also but maybe we need to change the height of this uh, so we'll select all these walls hit tab then hit tab again and hold control key and select these also and these two and let's change the unconnected height to two feet okay so it's perfect now i'll just save this now let's go to the front view and we will create an, an extrusion here 
so go to component model in place and let's just select generic models okay and let's click okay and select extrusion and we have to set the work plane so select this face and let's draw the sketch okay first draw a line from the middle here so first let's make a six feet line here and then join this to the column here delete these select both of these lines then mirror continue we need to join this here then finish and you can see it's looking something like this so let's create a sweep around this okay but before that we have to create a sweep profile so we just finish this model and edit uh, edit the height of this column so select both of these and we need to take them down so maybe we need to check the size here so it's six inches from the top we need to take these columns down six inches here you can see the top offset minus six inches so it's okay now let's create a new profile so go to file new family and here select a profile select only the, uh, this profile then open and we will create our profile so select line let's load this into in into a project and you can see here we will delete this floor and we will create uh, we will create this by using roof so we can we can use the roof fish here and so we can easily add that sweep to the roof because if i select the roof fish here we cannot apply that to the floor so we need to delete this and we will create that floor by using the roof so select the roof and here just make this till level 1 and go to level 1 and we will draw our sketch Okay, now we don't want any slopes so we need to select all and just uncheck the defined slope then finish and if you go into 3d okay we, our roof is on this level so we need to just take this up to roof and now we can just easily add our fascia here, here so click on this drop down and then select fish here edit type we need to select that profile here which we have just created so here it is family one okay and just So now we will we will create another profile. There is a profile 
here we have this so we'll delete this and let's create another profile lines and let's make it like this rectangle five inch and the height six inches then okay we need to save it first save as family let's make it let's call it profile 2 and load this into our project okay we will delete this this floor also and we will copy this uh, this roof uh, we will copy this roof so select the roof and then select the just hold control key and select this fascia also then copy to clipboard and paste uh, align to selected levels select level one okay and we will get that here so let's edit this let's edit this fascia edit type duplicate and let's just call it profile 2 then from here select profile 2 okay so you can see we got some thing like this okay it's it's very thick so we will change this again so let's make it and just change the thickness to maybe four inches okay and this also to four inches let's edit this now split uh, let's go to modify split split these lines and just trim and extend okay so load into project and you will see and just overwrite this and then you can see that profile so it's looking a bit good now let's uh, and now we will just finish this i don't know why it got deleted from here so we'll apply again roof here okay select the profile to that place here here on all these sides i will just save this project again now we will create the sweep on on this extrusion so select the extrusion edit in place then sweep pick path and okay we need to take this extrusion up so let's go to south view and select this extrusion and just move this here And we will just we will just create a sweep around this so select sweep pick path and pick this path pick the the edge of this roof uh, of this extrusion and we will load the sweep profile here so the first let's finish the sketch path then from here the profile list you will find that profile okay this profile this family one select that and you can see if I go to the front view we need to rotate this Let's give the angle 180 yes it's okay now let's finish and we will create another profile we will create an, another sweep on this side so go to create again select sweep pick path pick these two edges and finish the path then select the profile from here 
family one again we need to we need to rotate this so maybe this time um let's rotate 90 degrees okay and select this and we need to take this down okay because it's going outside of this extrusion you need to do that here so change the x to minus minus six inches Okay, let's just give it six inches so it's on the correct position and we can just finish this and so we can now finish this finish model okay here we need to change the height again to the column just remove the top offset let's make it zero so I will stop this tutorial right here. I thought I could finish this project in this video, but it's already over 20 minutes. So we will continue in the part four. So stay tuned for that. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you have learned something new. So please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And see you guys in the next video.